Today's episode is brought to you by Steel Blue. <sighs> Getting machinists high since 1920. Hey folks, Lucas here. Welcome back to Cropped Camera. Today is the day you've been waiting for. The day we finally get to shut the door on this project. Not because we are finishing the camera or anything like that, but because we're going to be making a door which can both open and shut. I start by marking out and cutting all the aluminum needed for this project. The larger piece you see here is used for the door itself. The two smaller pieces will be used for a sliding mechanism that I'll explain later in the video. These three pieces of quarter inch aluminum rod are what will make up the hinge. At the lathe, I face each side and drill a 332nd inch hole in the center. The bits I have aren't quite long enough to go all the way through, so I have to drill from both sides. Before jumping to the welding station, I add a quick chamfer to the back door. This will give some space for the hinge to better seat and make it easier to weld. I thread all the tubes on a wire and place them alongside the door on the main body. The middle tube is tack welded to the body and the two other tubes are welded to the back door. The large piece of aluminum that is sitting on top is acting as a chill block. I'm trying to suck some of the heat away from the tube as it is much smaller than the body. In some of the test welds, the tube would just dissolve before I can get any sort of good bond. This seems to be a good safeguard. I also found that preheating the body can help. As you can see, the hinge works perfectly, but pretty it is not. Using various grinders and sanders, I smooth the transition between the two and try to make them look as if they're one part. Now it's time to make the sliding window that I can use to view the frame count. If you've never shot medium format film before, it's a little different than 35mm. The film is backed with paper, and printed on that paper are frame numbers. To know what frame you're on, and to advance to the next one, there's a little window that you can open and see the number. On my last camera I had a simple mechanism that just had a single slider that I lifted with my finger to expose the window. For this camera I'm going to change it up a bit and make a two-part mechanism. It will be the same window, but the slider will be off to the side and separate. This will make it a lot easier and give me a more unobstructed view. I start by making the slider. I'm making it out of a single piece, so I'm using a pretty thick chunk of aluminum. I mark a center point off to one side. To remove a bulk of the material, I jump to the mill and make a few rough cuts. I use the center punch mark to center the part on a super glue arbor and make several rough passes to get the basic shape made out. Now I can take it down to final dimensions.
Off camera, I smooth all of the tool marks and then strap it to a mill and cut a quarter inch hole in it. I'm using an end mill to cut the hole because the material is very thin and using a drill bit would possibly do a lot of damage. Now I strap down the piece of aluminum bar stock that I cut at the beginning of the video and drill a similar hole in it. In a vise, I mill out a slot in this piece that will house the slider I just made. As you can see, the holes line up perfectly. With these parts now finished, I cut a hole and slot in the back door. When installed, the handle will ride in this slot, and all three holes will line up to show the frame number. I'm drilling four holes that will be used to mount the slider. To make sure everything is perfectly aligned, I super glue it together, and I'm drilling the holes through both parts at once. I'm drilling a 2.5mm hole first, and then a 3mm hole that goes just deep enough to get past the first part, which I do not want to tap. I do this for all four holes, and then tap. This method of drilling with two size drill bits has the added benefit of giving me a hole that can center and guide the tap, making it a lot easier and faster to get straight threads. A sharp whack with a mallet, and these parts are free. I clean the part up real quick and temporarily reattach the hinge. I'm using 3 32nd inch welding rod. When it comes time to permanently attach the hinge, I'll cut the wire flush and rivet the ends to hold it in permanently. When the final assembly starts, I'll insert some red film into the hole. This will filter the light and help stop it from messing with the film. I'll also add some felt on the inside of the slider assembly to act as a damper, making the action smoother and stopping it from jingling so much. And finally, I can shut the door on this video. Join me next time when I make the last bit of hardware for this camera. There's only going to be a few more videos in this series. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and comment down below. If you want to see more, make sure and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if there's anything you feel I need to know that could help improve my skills, or better inform the other people watching these videos, please leave it down below. And with that, I'll see you next time.